Welcome to another episode of the Tobago House of Assembly's Post-Executive Council Media Too Briefing. This week, the Secretary of Community school, Development, Enterprise Development and Labor, Marcelin Melville-Jack, and the Secretary of Health, Wellness and Family Development, Dr. Agatha Carrington, addressed the media. Before I point to the, the updates, um, I just wanted to um, address the whole matter of the renaming of the um, division. Um, the focus is now on health, wellness, and family development. Um, that is important because we have to address these matters with respect to lifestyle diseases in our population, as well as addressing those social is issues in our families. And therefore, the renaming, rebranding, and realignment of the division is to seek to do just that. Um, in terms of um, on assuming office, some of the things that were important for, for us is to, to look at what is the situation in the, the division, and we've embarked on that. More particularly, um, we, we are concerned or have been concerned in terms of um, the business processes in our division. Just to make sure that um, we operate much more efficiently, we've been concerned in terms of our financial performance, and so that's an area that is engaging us. Um, matters with, with respect to our clients, that's important because um, our clients are key to service delivery and therefore the effort has been to look at those. Another important area um, that we've started looking at is the matters with respect to learning and growth where we will examine um, the, the training persons have experience, um, the skills they have such that we can apply those to the business of improving healthcare delivery. So that, in, by, by, by way of um, context, I just wanted to raise that. But more particularly to address, um, in terms of up updates, what we've been doing so far, let me just share with you um, on the whole theme of, of um, health and wellness. Um, we propose to establish centers of excellence for health and wellness as part of our health and wellness tourism trust. And therefore, in the coming months, we will continue our discussions in terms of um, planning for those center services programs so that we can address those areas that are important for the, the um, health of our populations. Um, but just in particular, may I mention that um, because we've had um, the challenge of um, diabetes and hypertension in our populations. In fact, I had the opportunity to look at um, studies done by the Health Studies Unit in Tobago, and um, they noted that in Tobago men over 40, those over 40, age 40, about 50% the prevalence is, and that um, we do have about 49% of hypertensive men are not being treated for hypertension. And therefore, that is an event that we must look at to provide the kind of support they require, both in terms of prevention, treatment, and care. And so we want to look at um, how could we manage um, diabetes in a much more fundamental way, both in terms of health promotion and disease prevention. And um, because as a risk factor for, so hypertension is a risk factor for strokes, we want to um, move towards establishing a center for the management of strokes and diabetes on the island. The other area that um, we are hoping to, to have brought on board as well, and, and this is in the preliminary stages, is how do we build on the care for cancer that's on the island. You would know that um, the services provided here, apart from health promotion, would be um, chemotherapy that is located at the old um, hospital, opposite the old hospital and that it is important for us to address the matters with respect to treatment and care. And therefore, we want to look at how can we partner with perhaps the private sector to improve the care for cancer patients that are on the island. And therefore, we would just not propose to have um, a support for the chemotherapy, but that we will embark on screening. We will have a full-fledged clinic um, so that we can strengthen the, the, the um, treatment modalities. But more than that, um, palliative care is important for all our critical illnesses, and therefore we hope to have palliation as part of, of, of that service in our effort to address the matters with respect to those priority diseases that are in our population. 
Let me just share as well um, another, another area in terms of um, the, our effort to strengthen our tobacco health sector um, and to ensure that we become much more evidence-based. It is that we intend to collaborate with um, WashU, we call them WashU, but it is Washington University, excuse me, School of Medicine and Rutgers, um, such that we could embark in much more research in Tobago. Though we have the Tobago Health Studies Unit, there has not been a focus on breast cancer research, and therefore we would want to, as a first phase, look at breast cancer research in collaboration with with um, these partners. The expectation is that the data can guide the decision making in terms of care we need to provide for our cancer patients, persons with breast cancer on the island. And just continuing on the whole matter of, of research, we've not had um, a focus on research ethics and the division has proposed the establishment of a research ethics committee, um, jointly so with the CMOH's office, the TRH and public health divisions, so that we can have an independent committee to look at and to review the ethical acceptability of research done on the island. More important for us is that the data collected would be data belonging to the Division of Health, Wellness and Family Development, and that the decisions would guide, the, the data will guide what we do. We expect to have a very, um, competent committee coming on board. Um, representation in the, on that committee will include persons in ethics, clinical medicine, laypersons, epidemiology and biostatistics and biomedical sciences. We feel that that is important for Ireland because we can either approve, um, reject proposals that may come forward, guide the research in terms of what is happening, just to make sure that um, the study is conducted are done so within a framework that is acceptable. And so that's another area that we, we are looking at because as we embark on the research, there's need to ensure the, the ethical basis for what we do. Um, and finally, I just want to share in terms of update again that um, in terms of a healthcare delivery, we do have homes for older persons. And you would know that there have been reports in terms of the the standards for homes for, the, for older persons, and that um, we have constituted a committee to treat with inspection, assessment, and reporting on the conditions in these homes. Um, the, the committee will comprise persons from medicine, nursing, um, police and fire service, um, public health, finance, planning, and quality. We expect that, that such a committee would add value to the delivery of service for older persons. The expectation is that this committee will start its work within the coming month. We look forward to improvement in terms of the quality of service provided to older persons. Um, those, are the, those are some key areas in terms of um, updates. Um, principally addressing the gaps in terms of research and, and research ethics um, areas with respect to how we can partner as we respond to the priority diseases in our population. I'm sure you will agree that um, this division is now one of the new kids on the block because we are in the process of restructuring. We were familiar with community development and culture for a very long time. And uh, the Department of Culture is now transferred to tourism. So it's now tourism, culture, and transportation. I need to also add that culture was so dominant and dynamic in the previous dispensation that it actually overshadowed community development to the point that um, much of the work that they should have done were not advertised as it should have been because, as I said, they were overshadowed by culture. However, in this new dispensation, we have four departments coming to join the community development team. There's the business development unit, unit coming out of the division of finance and the economy. Labor joins us from the division of settlements that has now become 
um, I just forgot what it is at that, this point in time, but they have left settlements and they are now with us. And the CPEP joins us as well. I'm not sure many people are aware of this, but CPEP is coming out of health to join the new division. The next department joining us is OSH that comes out of the office of the Chief Secretary. So you could understand that transition takes a little time. But we have not allowed that to stop us from moving forward. As a team, myself and the Assistant Secretary, we have visited the staff of all these departments because they are still in their um, previous buildings. They still occupy space in those buildings. So we visited the Business Development Unit, Labor, CPEP and OSH, where they are located at this point in time. And after we laid out our proposals going forward, everyone seemed so excited to come on board because it now made sense, whatever they did in a vacuum, because they were operating like silos, coming together with community development, with this fresh mandate, seemed to them like a breath of fresh air. So at this time, I want to pause just to commend the employees of these divisions that will be joining community development for their passion and their willingness not just to be a part of but to show us very early that they are willing to work together to ensure that our mandate is successful. Now I'm sure members of the media like all the other residents in Tobago that it seems as though we in Tobago have lost the spirit of family and community. That spirit that was nurtured by a rich oral tradition, sound moral spiritual values, hard work, sacrifice, and in many cases, being your brother's keeper. And this is exactly what the Division of Community Development, Enterprise Development and Labor seeks to restore. We are seeking to restore pride in family and community by providing services and training opportunities within each community in an effort to enhance social and economic growth. You will agree with me also that the Tobago House of Assembly cannot continue to sustain the high levels of employment that has been the norm. Our Chief Secretary has announced most emphatically that it is not business as normal. As a matter of fact, he said it's business unusual. So there are many unusual things that will be happening within the division in a short time. We now propose to bring the services to the community rather than have people access these services in Scarborough as they are accustomed doing. It is also important to note that with all these new departments coming to the fore, it was necessary to conduct some form of change management exercise. So Monday and Tuesday of this week, the new division was engaged in change management. And this was conducted by Grace Talma and gave the heads the opportunity to bring their objectives to the table and see how their objectives could now be married into the objectives that we wish to push forward at this time. We were able to come up with a new and need I say improved vision, mission, core values and chart the way forward the way that we would like to see communities functioning in the future. So our new vision encapsulates exactly what we want to do. Building strong families, sustainable communities, and a healthy, productive workforce. So how are we going to achieve this? We want to begin as early as the second week in March going out into the community and meeting with community groups. We wish them to identify their needs because now this is governance from the bottom up. We do not propose to go into the communities and tell them what we would like to do.
So we are giving them the opportunity to identify their needs, to prioritize them in the orders in which they would like them handled, and to even identify skill sets that are resident in the community that we can use to accomplish our goals. Hopefully, this will put an end to the unemployment that is evident right now within communities because there are many young people and even older persons who have skills that they have not um, explored because I think they have not realized that once you are passionate about something then you and you move forward with that thing, then you can be even more successful than you think. So apart from the methods that we would employ, we also hope to strengthen partnerships with faith-based organizations because we know that we need the help of God many times to ensure that we continue moving in a part that would be conducive to growth and improvement. So we will also wish to partner with the NGOs within the community, the businesses that are currently resident in the community. We expect a certain amount of volunteerism and mentorship. And I want to stress most emphatically that we wish to partner with other divisions in the THE. And this partnership is important because too many times we have heard about situations in communities that could be alleviated if the partnership, the communication among secretaries were better. And I'm putting this out there very early that I am hoping that that communication not just continues but is strengthened so that no community can feel as though they are left behind. Now, what are some of the services we wish to offer? We wish to offer vocational skills training, mentorship, as I said before, but we also wish to offer mediation. And having labor on board is a plus because these skills are resident within the labor department. Too many of our young people are finding themselves before the courts for matters that could have been resolved through mediation. So we are hoping that once we offer these services within communities, we can see fewer matters reaching the court. Literacy courses, vital. Too many young people are dropping out of school and they find themselves in situations where they are unable to do something as simple as completing a form, writing an application for a job. So within the community, we are hoping that we can offer these kind of courses to them. Computer courses are already being offered, but we want to bring to the fore financial management and business literacy. Hence the reason BDU was added to the mix. Now let's go back to community centers. The Tobago House of Assembly has extended millions of dollars on the upgrade of community centers over the years. And some of these upgrades have even resulted in what we now have, or what we now call multi-purpose centers. And it is sad that we have not seen the re kind of returns that we required from all the money that has been invested in these centers. So our division is hoping to ensure that every community center becomes a hub of the community. It's opened throughout the day and the services are afforded right within the community center. We want to meet the people where they are. Having liaison officers working out of these communities will not just bring the services closer to the people, but it will create the kind of partnership that we want to see between governance and the people. We want them to feel us working for them. So these liaison officers will be charged with the responsibility 
of going out into the community and finding out what the issues are even before they become problematic. I need to also add that there are services that are offered within the Tobago House of Assembly right now that many residents are not aware of. So we are hoping to partner with social services and have some of these application forms resident in the community so that we can share them with the people who need them most. Equity is very important to us because many times we feel that the services are just not reaching the people who really need them. So by bringing them into the community, we have this hands-on approach where we ensure that the people who need them get them. Now, let me take a moment to look at the aims of each of the departments that will be coming together so that you can see the synergy that will be created. Community development. Their main focus is the development of sustainable communities. They wish to empower individuals and groups with the skills they need to effect change within their community. CPEP, they should be providing short and medium term employment for semi-skilled and unskilled persons within their neighborhoods. But in addition, they should be providing training opportunities to facilitate some form of transition and graduation out of the program. But we realize that this has not been happening. People have not been graduating out of the program. So we are hopeful that with the new division coming on board, providing the kind of training opportunities that are required and the vocational skills enhancement, that the initial aim of the C prep program can be realized. The business development unit, their main focus is the development, again, of community-based micro-entrepreneurs. They also wish to jumpstart economic activity within communities. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you could see right away that the ultimate aim is to have persons less reliant on the Tobago House of Assembly for everything. We are trying to make individuals and com communities so confident in themselves and, the, and their abilities that they will first look internally before they attempt to seek funding from the Tobago House of Assembly. We know how that goes. Once there's an event, you come to the division or a number of divisions seeking funding. So our main goal is to ensure that residents in Tobago become self-reliant. Labor, they are concerned with the maintenance of a stable industrial climate, as well as reduction in unemployment, poverty alleviation, and increased productivity in the workforce. Again, you can see the alignment of their aims with what we are proposing to do. But there's something that labor does that I am really, really passionate about. They are also concerned with matching skill set to employment opportunities. So their goal is to have a database resident in communities of residents and their skills so that they can now match this against the job opportunities that we have, not just in Tobago, but maybe sometimes in Trinidad and the further Caribbean. So I am excited about this because I am disheartened when young people, many of whom I have taught, come to me and say, you know, we have gone out and we have studied and we come back and we are qualified and we can't find a job. So that match will assist them. But I also want to implore young people going out to study that you study the climate of Tobago and you see where there are niches within the society, niches that you can fill 
And when you go to study, you select courses that would make you marketable when you come back. Because our small population can only employ so many more so many people. So unless people become entrepreneurs or make themselves marketable, then employment opportunities will continue to become fewer and fewer. OSH, Occupational Health and Safety. Right at this point, their main function, well, they function at every division. There's an OSH of officer located at every division. And they are there to ensure that standards are maintained and kept in the working environment, not, well, primarily for employees, but I, I would want to add for employers as well, because we become liable as employers if the conditions under which our workers are employed are not safe or it does not promote healthy lifestyles. So we are also happy to have them on board and we want them also to look at the individuals and the groups within the communities so that standards are maintained. Even as they start up their businesses, which they will, you know, we want to ensure that these standards are maintained. So what did we do to accomplish all of this? As I said earlier, we had that change management workshop. And I just want to tell you some of the things coming out of that workshop, some of our achievements. Not only did we establish a new vision, mission, and core values, but we ensured that the department goals were aligned with the new divisional goals, and that these goals were aligned with the CDEP goals. We obtained feedback from department heads with regard to their operational plans and their de departmental goals. And as far as change management is concerned, we were able to address the resistance to change, staff fear of job loss, and integration of the strate their strategies within the larger division. All in all, I want to compliment the staff and the heads as well. Why I want to compliment staff specifically is because in three days, the staff were able, from the different departments, were able to come together and we were able to present a united front at the interdepartmental show that we had just a few days ago. They came out in their numbers and supported the new division to the extent that the person who was selected as our personality belonged to Kaltia. So that person had to then represent tourism and Kaltia. And within three days, the staff of all those departments came together and they came up with a new personality representing com community development. And I'm proud to say that coming together not only strengthened us, but it also allowed our representative to place a second. And I'm very proud of him for stepping forward in short, such a short space of time. I would also like to com compliment the people coming to us from labor who were able to provide us with a Calypsonian at short notice. So already the synergy is there. It's working admirably and we look forward to Coming, going into the communities and producing the kind of outcomes that we expect and that all of Tobago expects. I know some months ago when the new board was reinstated, one of their goals was to, um, to come up with a new CEO. Um, and it was given six months. And I know the six months, I think the six months have passed. Um, but I just want to know, have you been able to kind of find out what's been going on, where that's concerned? Yes. Um, that indeed was a mandate given by the previous um, secretary. And um, my understanding is that um, the process um, has started. Um, our expectation is that that process will be finalized um, shortly. And as soon as that happens, we will make an announcement. So there has, has there been a list of persons that you all have, that the TRH board has been going through? Um, interviews, my understanding is that interviews have been held.
Thank you for staying with us for the Tobago House of Assembly's Post-Executive Council Media Briefing for the week ending February 18, 2017.